Daryl Morey, uh, this week he went on a radio show and kind of laid out, he kind of hinted at what his plan is a little bit, um, kind of playing on a little bit of what we're talking about here um, with this wow. whole hardened trade. But uh, in the, uh, the Morey interview with uh, Anthony Gargano with Philadelphia radio station, uh, Morey made uh, interesting comments about how James and Joel are both hard to play with at times because they are such dominant forces, and that a wing that can play on and off the ball as an ideal pairing for Embiid. Um, people keep looking at the 2024 free agency class as a solution to our problems. Uh, and the reason we are saving money, you know, waiting on to give Max the extension, um, and not wanting to take on salary, uh, going past next year. But, uh, some of the top names that are going to be available, uh, either via trade or possible free agents in 2024, um, are, these are just the guys that I, I picked out. Um, we have some ties to these guys with the uh, nurse, but, um, I want to see what you guys, who sticks out to you guys as possible pairings um, as to what Maury's talking about playing on and off the ball. Um, so you got Levine, Siakam, OG, Ananobi, uh, Kawhi Leonard, uh, Paula George, DeMar DeRozan, and Clay Thompson. Um, those are the, the guys that are going to be. Those are guys, LeBron, too, if you want to add him in there. Yeah. Are we going to draft Ronnie? Hey. Well, we don't. Oh do we even have a draft? Do we have a draft capital? We may have a chance to go get them there. We have, we have a first-round pick this year. Oh. Um, but as far as what, what Moore is talking about, having an ideal pairing with MB, being able to play on and off the ball, who which one of those guys kind of sticks out and what you think that the, the Sixers are trying to, uh, I don't know, um, make moves to uh, get next offseason to clear up all this cap space? I mean, based on the way they're treating James, I mean, most of these guys too old. So it has to be Levine then. I mean, the rest of the guys are too old or can't shoot it well enough or do, you know, play well enough. And, you know, I don't know. It's Asian as people. Maybe they, they got something up their sleeve or something. <laughs> it got to be Levine. I mean, if, it, if, you ain't, if you ain't paying James Harden, like, what do we got these other guys in there for? That's a good point. A lot of people in the uh, chat uh, of the YouTube comments were asking, pleading for you, Eric, to what saying, what the hell are the Sixers doing? Uh, uh, <laughs> like, what are they doing? Please, like, break it down and, and, and tell us, like, what the hell are they doing? Like, what, what? I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, like, like I said, I, I think that, like, I, they signed the bigs. I think that that's a comfort level, obviously, I believe, for Joel. Um, to have some form of consistency behind him, believing that he's going to play whatever it is, 67 or 65 games, whatever that, whatever the limit is to to get get awards. Um, if something happens in the playoffs, and you can be solid in that at that position, I, I, I firmly believe they're held up by James' situation and Tobias' free agency. I don't think they really know what to do. I think they're just sitting back and waiting, and I believe that I believe that more than anybody else that they tried to go get Dame Lillard. I believe that. Yeah, that they tried to go get him, and I don't think he wants to go to Philly. Yeah, well, he's made that clear. Um, I believe that they've you know maybe tried to go get one or other one or other one maybe other two other players. They've tried to go get guys, can't get them. So I just don't think there's a, there you can't make a move. I said on the last show, you can't make a move until Dang Lillard is settled. Until he's he's traded. You 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 got to leave that door open just in case he falls on your lap. Now, like I said, I think the bigs are signed for a specific reason that has this more about Joel and his health. That's my opinion. That that's what that's about. Um but everything else is, you know, you you holding on to James and Tobias being a, a, a free agents and using those contracts to maybe get something where somebody like, whoa, how did we get him? Well, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, you got to hold on to that. Like I said, until Dame and I don't know. I don't know if anybody else that's on Dame's level is going to ask out, at least definitely by this year. I don't, I don't see where that's going to happen. I mean, everybody keeps saying Luca, but I don't know. We certainly don't have the assets for Luca, huh? 
We certainly don't have the assets for Luca. So I mean, Mavericks aren't trading Luca. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, there's been a lot of talk of punting this season. Do you think that's like? Obviously, they would never admit they're just like not going to try for this season. They're holding off for next year. You can't do that. You can't wait. I, I get the logic, but I don't. But I don't think you can. You can do that. With Joel's history of injuries, you can't punt a season. Yeah, if you want him to really leave, go ahead and punt a season. <laughs> but with trading Harden for a bunch of expirings, wouldn't that just be okay? We're punting the season, though. I mean, it depends. It depends on like who you're getting in return. But two, and also, Marcus Morris, and and and. It, but it also depends on how much you you what you want from Max. Like, how do you view playing now? If you're saying, hey, we're going to give him the ball, then we, we'll roll with some guys on the wing. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll Jamal Murray it. Put him at the one, put some guys around him, got our bid, let's roll. Yeah. Well, that's why they're taking so long to make this decision because they, they, they know they just can't just trade him for a bunch of expiring because that's not going to do anything for us. Because Harden's already expiring. That's why it's completely different from the Ben Simmons situation. Ben Simmons had like four more years left. Yeah, he Harden's just signed this deal. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's yeah. why I was different from Ben. Yeah. So like Harden's expiring regardless. So we regardless if we trade, you're basically trading Harden expiring or three players that won't do anything for us for expiring. So it's like that's why I think they're just hoping Harden just comes back and is like is cool with playing with his teammates again. I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, there's another story that came out today with the Clippers and Sixers also talking about PJ Tucker being involved in some kind of deal. Um, some kind of trade. I can see that. I mean, I can see yeah. more PJ, saving money. PJ and James being moved together. I could see PJ playing some small ball five for the Clippers too in that in that, in that offense, possibly. You know, um, but let's do. Uh, I did a lot of work here, so let's let's do some math. So next year's salary cap will be around one forty nine, one fifty. Okay, because we didn't extend Maxi. I read that his cap hole will be around thirteen million. And Bede will make fifty one. Reed will make a little under eight. Uh, team option for Springer is about $4 million. Um, let's just say we try to maximize our money. We don't like the way Springer developed this year. Uh, we declined Springer's option. Um, so we got Embiid, Reed, Maxi would be about $72 million on the books, which will leave about $78 million left. Got about eight minimum roster charges. That's about $10, 11000000 million right there. Let's just say about $68 million left with Embiid, Reed, Maxi, and eight minimum contracts. Let's say OG, he'll be in his seventh year, would be his minimum max would be $44 million as a starting salary, uh, which would leave about $24 million left for one more player. Okay, you so would give, you, you would give OG $44 million? They're gonna have to. They're gonna they, they, that's why everyone that, that's why everyone's so confused. Like you're saving this money for who? For well, what? So why are we why are we complaining about Tobias getting forty million? That and that's the biggest debate. Everyone's like, we're about to give a Tobias contract. To OG and Anobi make the same mistake. Make in, the same in, numbers. Like I, Yeah, I don't understand that one. That's but that that's how you're gonna lure a guy like that away from his team, right? I mean, like you can't so, get it to so take less. So then why so why didn't you not pay James forty four million? Maybe because OG fits what they think they need more in between Nurse and Maury? I don't know. So that will leave twenty four million. You could try resigning Tobias at like a Harrison Barnes type number, maybe starting like sixteen or eighteen mil. Um, you'd have about eight million dollars left to sign someone else if you wanted to. Um, maybe you can try to reunite with Gary Trent around that cap number as well. Um, here's where it gets a little interesting though, right? So everyone says, "Oh, you, they want to trade for Levine." Okay, so we got a, a problem. GM, we got a GM that's going to get. Former Houston Rockets, and we got a coach. Is that now we're gonna bring in all the Toronto players? I was gonna say the Philadelphia Raptors, <laughs> the, Toronto, the Toronto Rockets, baby. Um, <laughs> what, let's say we did Levine, right? Levine makes 43 next year. So if you take Levine, Maxi, and Beaton Reed, you got 115, which would leave us 35 million for nine roster spots. So right there, you'd have about 25 million left after you do your vet minimums to spend, unless you can convince. OG to take that'd be a good, that'd be a great starting five. You could take get OG to take twenty five a year, which I doubt he would do. The other option would be twenty five. Yeah. He won't take twenty five a year. 
I don't think he would. No way. Wow. Now he's gonna cash in, man. Harrison Barnes just got 18 million a year. The Raptors want like seven first round picks for OG and Anobi. <laughs> they value him as a guy. Maybe because y'all trying to think he worth 44 million. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not saying I want to, but I mean, just, like, I see him as I don't I didn't even see him as a what the third or fourth best player on their team. They're giving him 44 million. He's still young. He's like 26, too, on top of it all. No, I ain't hating on him. Like, get your money, young fella. I'm just saying, like, so what is the guy? So why are we complaining about the kid from Houston, Fred, getting that money? I guess in today's NBA, they want a, a guy who can de- defend threes, twos, threes, and fours, wings, who can hit three pointers. You pay him forty four pay him more than Draymond got? Yeah. He can I mean he shoots around forty percent from three. He can play defense. How many, how many points does he average? Does Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown's about to get seventy million, Eric. You you ain't gonna pay OG no much forty four. Why is Jalen Brown going to get it though? Uh, super max with his own team. That's why because he earned because he earned certain things to get it right. I I mean, but I'm that's not fair you, though because they, they no. What I'm saying is you have to you have to make certain bars to get that salary. Oh yes, yes, that's yes. what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's why he's getting that. Now you that's could. Why, that's why he's eligible to get it. Eligible He'll, because he because he set those. He made those those certain bars. The other option would be you overpay, overpay for OG. Give him his forty four, whatever. You have about twenty five left, twenty four left. That's something that DeRozan would sign for. He's because his this this year he's making twenty eight. And a lot of people thought they were overpaying for him. I think he'll. I think he will have a lower contract this upcoming year. Now, if you can get, I don't know about the fit. I'm just talking about getting as much talent on this floor as possible. Maxi, DeRozan, OG, Paul Reed, and Embiid. That's a pretty good starting five. A good mix of offense and defense too. I don't know about the fit, but that's the kind of thing they're trying to work on right now. But there's just, I don't know, man. Yeah, well, I hope not. To save all that kind of money to to, 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 to do this? To let go Tobias and James and complain about their salaries, then turn around and sign Toronto's third best player for more money than them. I, do, I, will, I don't think I'll ever understand that. So you'd rather have Siakam for that same money? Is Siakam better? Is he, is he better fit, though? Is he better? He's proven he's better, right? Yes. Okay, so like I said, we're talking about the third or fourth best player on a team that we beat, that the coach left, got fired from. They said, "Good luck with those guys." Now we're gonna go get one of those guys, forty-four million. <laughs> yeah, Nurse has a better relationship with OG, but yeah, they of course, because we're gonna give him forty-four million. <laughs> <laughs> But you just finished saying no one wants to come to Philly. We're going to have to overpay for someone to come here, man. We're going to have to. I'm, I'm not saying anybody wants – I said Philly historically. Do not yes. Get free agents. Okay, but if we if we do this next year, you know we're going to have to pay. So, so have based to. on what you're saying, either someone else is going to match or we're going to overpay. Most likely, yes. And then we'll be in the same boat we were, which you count his money – like you do with Tobias. <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. Now, you gave that money to Paul George. I think Paul George is a better ball player than Tobias Harris. I'm more comfortable giving Paul George more than his market than I would for a Tobias Harris. Yeah, that's it true. You seem like you're more comfortable giving it to OG, too. At least OG's like 27 years old. He's young. Well, Tobias was young when he signed this. Yeah, he was. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah. We just – we we signed – here's the difference. We signed Harris and then thrusted him in a different role than we, I think, first envisioned him, where I would assume with Nurse, knowing him, I would assume Nurse would sign OG with a plan with him in mind, not to just to change the roster over a year and two later. That's what we did with Tobias. We changed the roster every, every friggin' year. So – Look, 
bottom line with all these different things we're talking about, it's a reason for me to stay patient and make the right move. Because if we start rushing into things, then we're screwed. We might be screwed anyway, but 